Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. In this video, we're building something very interesting. We're building a Slack bot that can upload files on a Slack channel, right? So the prerequisites are that you need to have a Slack account, obviously, and you need to be the admin of a workspace, basically on Slack. And then you have to come to api.slack.com slash apps. Now, if you have built Slack uh, bots before, and you just want to uh, know about how to upload files, then you can skip the part where, uh, you know, I'll show on how to uh, get your bot token and your app token. And you can skip directly to the part where uh, we start working with Golang. Uh, or otherwise, you can stick around and see how uh, we need the, we can get the bot token, right? So uh, we're on api.slack.com slash apps. We'll create new app from scratch. I'll call it the file bot. And the workspace is Moltec, create app. Now, I need socket to be enabled. So I'll click on socket mode, the third option. I'll enable it. And I'll call this token the socket token. Generate. So it has generated a token for me. And I don't need this token for this video. I just need the uh, bot token in this video. So what we'll do now is we'll actually go to event subscriptions and we'll just enable it as well. Even though we won't be using events in this video, but we'll just enable it anyways. And then we'll go to our OAuth and permissions. All right, so let's give it some scopes. So obviously we need to be able to uh, read messages. So let's, I'll just say chat write and channels read. And then I need files read and files write. And I'll also say I am read and I am write. Now, uh, if you've uh, watched my other videos on how to build Slack bots, the other videos, then you know that I always recommend going for more scopes than you need because a lot of the errors on Slack Stack Overflow around Slack bots uh, have uh, been caused because uh, because of authorization, authentication, and permissions issues, right? And they all revolve around the scopes. So it's always uh, good to have more scopes than you think you would need because. Uh, sometimes uh, the Slack bots don't even give you errors. So that can be very frustrating sometimes, right? So uh, we'll have remote files read and remote files share and write. Also, I'll, I'll take those as well. So remote files, uh, sorry, not reminders, right? But remote files, uh, the remote files write and share. Okay. Now, most of these we may not even use, but we are still, like I said, you know, we're still keeping them. So we have all these uh, scopes and it might so happen that we, uh, you know, um, we might need to add more uh, depending on if uh, our bot is able to perform the actions that we're expecting it to uh, perform. So it's asking me for some permissions. I'll allow it. Okay. And now you have your Slack bot. Token. I won't copy it right now, but I'll come back for it. All right. And uh, the other thing that you would need is your Slack channel id on which uh, you would interact with your file bot and i'll show you that as well all right so now what we'll do is we'll head over to our powershell or uh, you could be on your mac terminal or uh, ubuntu terminal it doesn't matter the commands will be the same all right so i'm in the, uh, in the in the folder where i keep most of my golang code and what i'll do here is i'll create a directory called slack file bot all right and i'll cd into slack file bot and i'll go mod in it And Slack file bot. This is my absolute link. If you if you're new, very new to uh, GoLang, this is your absolute link with the help of which you'll be able to uh, refer refer other files uh, in your project. In this project, particular project, we are going to have only one file main.go. But if this was a much larger project, uh, then we would have had to uh, you know write multiple files. And uh, GitHub.com because once you upload your project to GitHub, you might want to use it as a package in your other projects, right? So it's uh, always a good practice to have uh, your absolute link like set up like this so this is a good practice we'll go mod in it and it has created our go mod file so if you ls you'll be able to see your go mod file right and then uh, you need a, an external package to be able to work with slack so we are going to import that now if you're from a javascript background you would recognize this as your npm init and you would recognize this as your npm install so now we are just installing an external package uh, so we'll call it github.com slash slack go 
slash slash right so this person uh, just like us this person had given uh, github.com link so that you know we, now we're able to access his uh, library very easily uh, into our project so we'll get that so it has hopefully added the uh, slack go uh, slash slash package and what we'll do is just to be sure we'll also run go more tidy and says all match no packages no issues everything works perfectly and now what we'll do is we'll open up our code editor so i'm using vs code you could be using any other code editor not a problem and uh just uh, another pointer i'm also using a uh, uh, golang uh, uh, plugin in my uh, vs code that helps me write better code so i'll leave the name of that in the description box below but even if you just search for extensions, uh, Golang extension, you'll find it. It's not. It's not something very, uh, you know, uh, rare. <laughs> Everybody uses it. So uh, we are in our um, VS Code, and uh, I've opened up a file called main.go, which is uh, what the main file in a Golang program is called. In case you're new to Golang, and the first thing that you write in a Golang program is package main, and then you import some uh, libraries, and then you have something called this function, right? So these are the things that are uh, the most important in a Golang program and uh, I know that I'll be needing FMT to print out stuff so the format package has uh, things that are required to print out stuff to the terminal then I know I need the OS package to set and get my environments and I know that I need the external package that I just installed called slack go to help me talk to the slack APIs right uh, now slack go is a, a wrapper library that somebody has written around the slack APIs uh, in Golang so that we can call uh, the fun uh, the golang the, the slack um, apis as functions rather than as actual apis so we don't have to make network requests to the slack api because somebody has already uh, written wrapper functions around it and we just have to call those functions uh, using this library right so that makes our job extremely easy and then uh, you can uh, create a variable called api and it'll have slack dot new so we're using this package now slack and we're creating a new connection we are calling it and here we'll get uh you know uh, something from our environment and it will basically be our slack dot token now uh, ideally you would have an environment file right or if you're in production environment you would have uh that uh, those uh, the environment setup to have these uh, variables but since we don't have it set up what we'll do is we'll actually set our environment right now using the set env uh, you don't have to do it you can directly pass your bot token here but i do this because this makes the code uh, very extensible and you can you know, extend it later on if you in, in case you want to go to production uh like i said we don't want to go to production right now but if you wanted to you could because we're keeping everything uh very modular right so uh here we'll put a bot token and also one more thing that i need uh, like I said, is the channel ID on which uh, the bot will be able to uh, write the uh, upload the file. Okay, so here I'll have something called as channel uh, and this will be my channel basically. So I'll say string and os dot get environment inside that we'll have our channel id all right and then i'll have my file so it's a file arr string and here i'll put the name of my file you know whatever i want it to be so now let's go back to our uh, google chrome and get our slack bot token and channel ids so slack bot tokens this is my bot token so i'll copy it and i'll paste it here okay and now we'll have our channel id and i need to get to my channel id so this uh, i wanted to post it out also on the general channel so i'll say i'll right click on the general channels i'll say uh, open channel details then towards the end you'll find the channel id which is this okay and then i'll go back here and i'll paste it here make sense 
So now we have set our environment for a Slack bot token and Slack and uh, channel ID. And we, uh, sorry, there was a here. Yeah, and then uh, we have our, uh, you know, uh, variables API channel and file which have the uh, API connection with slack and then uh, the channel and then the file that we'll be uh, sending out the uploading basically and now we'll create a for loop so uh, right now we have only uh, we'll have only one file here but we could have multiple files right so we have to uh, go over all of the files that exist in this variable in this slice right so in this slice all the files that are there we'll say i plus plus and say params slack dot file upload parameter so this is a function that slack gives us and it will have two parameters okay and We'll take that into a our own variable called params. So the two parameters are channels, where I'll pass the channel in which I want to uh, upload the file. And I'll pass the file itself, which will in this case be file arr i, right? Because we are looping over file arr, which uh, in, in the, for the sake of this video, we'll have only one file, but you could have multiple file here, files here, like hundreds of files, and then you could loop over them, and then you could, uh, you know, send them here. All right. So we'll put a comma here because it's giving me some formatting error. So I'll say API dot upload file with the params. All right. So I have my params set here with channel and file, and I'm going to call the function called upload file. Uh, in my connection, the Slack API, right? And I'm going to uh, take that into a variable called file, or it's going to return an error to me, and so I'll check for the error. So if error not equal to nil, that means there is an error. I'll print uh, print out uh, fmt dot printf. I'll say percentage s new line comma error. All right, and we'll say return. And then we'll print out the name and URL of the file. So we'll say name percentage s URL percentage s new line comma file dot name with capital N and file dot URL. Okay. So uh, this is a very short, simple program, and even though I've added Slack, I don't know why it's giving me issues. I don't know why there's a squiggly line and shows one error. Even though I had actually uh, got my import of the package. So this sounds, this looks a bit off to me. Uh, but yeah, everything else in the program looks okay to me. Where uh, let me just go through it again so that uh, you know we're able to minimize uh, the errors. So there's the channel ID and Slack dot new Slack token string. Oh yeah, so here we have to just uh, pass the file. So you can copy any file that you want, and I'm going to just copy and paste a file called zipl dot uh, pdf. All right, so I'm going to pass here zipl.pdf. But you could have any file out there. And uh, after that, everything else looks pretty all right to me. So I don't know why there's a squiggly line here, even though I've installed the package. What I'll do is I'll again run go get github.com slack go slack 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 so i'll again add it and now hopefully the error should go i'm not sure yeah now it's gone weird right anyways so let's uh, run our code uh, let's build our code at least to see if there are any errors in runtime there are no errors so we'll say go run main.go and at the same time we have to keep our slack channel open right so here uh, in the general 
uh, channel is where I'm expecting the file to come up, right? So I'll say go run main.co and let me head over to my Slack channel and see if the file comes here. I don't see the file yet. It says not in channel. So this looks like an error to me. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the permission. So let me uh, go over to my uh, Slack terminal and uh, Slack uh, dashboard and see what the issue. So back in my uh, Slack dashboard or my channel, uh, I think the issue could be that uh, uh, the file bot is not a part of the channel, right? So what I'll do is I'll try mentioning file bot. And so it says want to add this person instead isn't in general yet. So I'll say add to channel. So file bot was added by Akhil Sharma. And now what we'll do is we'll run our code again and see what happens. And let's go back. See, it was able to add the file. It was able to upload the file. So it works perfectly. So you'll have to add your file bot to the channel before it can start uh, pushing files to this channel, right? And if you see this error, it's not very helpful, right? It says not in channel. I mean, what the hell does that mean? And I've, uh, you know, had so many errors in the past. Like I've built more than 50 Slack bots. Like they're on production on, you can uh, get them on the App Store, uh, the Slack App Store uh, marketplace. And then uh, the thing is, uh, it's so frustrating to build a Slack bot because most of the time the errors are around, like I told you, the, the scopes, right? And uh, because you're trying to do something and you don't have that particular scope selected and then it won't even give you the right error. It'll just say, uh you don't have uh, the authorization or you don't have the permission something like that but it won't tell you uh what permission you don't have uh so it, it can get really confusing so just make sure you add more scopes than you need and whatever scopes you think you might need you can obviously add them and don't be shy I mean, just add as many scopes as possible just add all of them probably <laughs> you know it's not like you're going to share your uh, tokens with anybody else right uh, like delete so for example i just made this uh, test uh, uh, app i'll just delete this uh, bot after uh, the video is over and uh, now if you're going to into production obviously if you're launching uh, a slack bot to the uh, marketplace then obviously you need to think about uh, what are the exact scopes that you need and you can remove the ones that you don't need to make it more secure but otherwise uh, while testing it while learning go ahead and do whatever you want right and uh, so if you like this video then do subscribe and because i'll be coming up with more awesome content in the future uh, and thanks a lot for watching and i hope you learned a lot in this video